All rise. Button County Court is now in session. The Honorable Joseph Spofford presiding. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Please be seated. Because 100 years ago, they saw in the United States of America a land of opportunity, which it was then, and which it remains now. And I expect you also saw that, that obtaining, coming to the United States, obtaining citizenship, you'll be able to take advantage of the opportunities that this country provides to its citizens. So we welcome you here this morning. We invite you to this great nation. We appreciate the efforts that you made in order to obtain citizenship. It was a long journey. It was a long process for you. But all of you determined that it was worth it to become a citizen of this great nation. Now, as a citizen of the United States of America, you also, like my ancestors had, you also will have tremendous opportunities. This is a land based upon freedom. This is a land where the government works for the people. The first Tuesday of November, every year, we have elections. We elect our local officials, we elect state officials, we elect our county clerk, we elect judges. Every four years, we elect a president. As citizens of the United States of America, we are inviting you to participate in that process. Because the government in this country works for the people, works for you. We, as elected officials, are answerable to you. Unlike many other nations in this, on this planet, the United States is unique in that the elected officials work for the people. The people don't work for the elected officials. We depend upon you to elect your representatives, who you feel will best serve your interests. And we're inviting you to participate in that process as Americans. This is a nation based upon immigrants. All of us are either immigrants or the descendants of immigrants. County Clerk Barbalotti was born here, but his grandparents were not. His grandparents came to this nation the way my grandparents came the way you came. Because they believe in this nation, they believe in the opportunities that are afforded to citizens. So we invite you, we appreciate you. This nation is diverse. There are many different cultures. But that's what makes this nation so important and so great. So we welcome you to the United States of America. We congratulate you. We invite you to participate in the government process and to join us in this American dream. So, my soon-to-be fellow citizens of the United States of America, congratulations and welcome to this great nation. I hope you all take advantage of the freedom, the opportunities that you will be afforded as citizens of this great land. Uh, I think Judge Spofford 
uh, really, uh, you know, encapsulated all of how, how most of my thoughts on this subject. I think uh, most of everybody's thoughts. Again, I, I'd like to thank you for being here. Thank you for embarking on this journey. A great deal of time, effort, and expense on your part. We had it easy. So like Judge Spofford, I was born here. I'm citizen by birthright. You folks took the time, had the desire, uh, had the want to become U.S. citizens, and for that, uh, I know you don't take it for granted. You don't take it. You won't take it lightly. And for that, I thank you so much for embarking upon this journey. Um, I wish we had a little more fanfare for you, but unfortunately, with COVID rules, it's very restrictive on what we can do. But I do, especially with all this going on, I do appreciate you uh, taking the time. Again, embrace your citizenship once you get it. You could start by coming to our office next door and getting your passport so you can travel freely. Um, go out and vote. Be a part of your neighborhoods, a part of your community. Um, take all the rights and responsibilities of, of being a U.S. citizen. Please take advantage of it because it always pays back dividends. Um, we usually have guest speakers when, when we're able to have uh, a little more, a little larger, a little more fanfare at these, and, and I always uh, uh, stress organ donation. It just so happened today I was looking for a mask because I forgot that we have to have masks in court facilities, and I found out my desk a mask that was given to me by New York State Donate Life, which tells everybody to please consider becoming an organ donor. So. Um, on, and usually on milestones, uh, when I put my DMV hat on and people come in to get their driver's licenses and we always encourage folks to please consider becoming an organ donor. On a special day like this where we're talking about uh, opportunities and rights and responsibilities, I ask everybody to please consider uh, as you embark upon becoming a citizen uh, to become an organ donor, uh, help out your fellow citizens, help out your fellow citizens and, and your fellow uh, brothers and sisters and, and consider uh, you know, the possibility of, of saving many, many lives uh, with, that, with that, uh, that very large gift. Um, so without further ado, I would ask all the candidates to please rise. The oath is located on the rear of your program. So you can all raise your right hand and repeat after me. I hereby declare on oath that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abhor all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince, hockney, state, or sovereignty. Of whom or of which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen, that I will support and defend the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America against all enemies foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by law, or that I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States, when required by law, or that I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction, when required by law, and that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. Congratulations.
I'm going to uh, lead you all in the Pledge of Allegiance as new citizens. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. In closing, my fellow citizens, of this great nation, welcome. Welcome to the land of the fray. We, all of us that are here joining with you this morning, appreciate the efforts, the tremendous efforts, the long journey that you took to get to this stage. We appreciate your following the laws of this nation to obtain your citizenship. You did it the right way, you've earned your citizenship, and we congratulate you. God bless you. Welcome to the United States of America. Please take advantage of all the liberties that you will enjoy as citizens of this nation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.